Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where our USA road trip continues. This afternoon we're here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee for a visit to an alpine coaster. And this one is called Goats on the Roof, so it's like goat theme. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is like the perfect attraction for Charlotte just It's here. brilliant. We drove in, there was like on a little walkway, which is so cute. Of course, if you're new to the channel, you might not know this, but I'm sure most of you do. Charlotte here absolutely loves goats. We're called Goat Park Worldwide sometimes, and yeah, we've come here to come and check this out tonight goats on the roof of course you've got so many attractions around here in pigeon forge lots of alpine coasters i was here in 2019 and did a couple of them but didn't come to this one goats on the roof oh, charlotte i'm so excited to see the goats hey, yeah we're gonna go and see them now and of course we'll take you on the alpine coaster just down here as well as with loads of these different roadside attractions not just here in pigeon forge but across the us they've got lots of free parking down here just off the main road you kind of pull up we're a couple of miles uh, from the main kind of strip so to speak um in pigeon forge itself and within 15 minutes drive of the Dollywood theme park. Let's go and have a look. And of course we're up here in the gorgeous Smoky Mountains. It really is stunning around here with all the scenery. And yeah, there's a look at the Alpine coaster itself up there. Yeah, Lift Hill just over on the right hand side. There's some people coming down. Hopefully they're going to leave a good gap because yeah, that's what you want on these. You don't want people too close like them three up there. They're all very close to each other. It's always best just asking them oh, if you can just leave a bit of a gap. And yeah, we've done well for weather because it was absolutely throwing it down when we were making our way down here. And yeah, the weather's perfect for us now. Oh, they're very close together. They are, yeah. We, oh, look at that. Very close. Really need to make sure we're uh, getting a good gap there. He's got some good speed coming down here, though. There you go, right into the end. Yeah, I just love these roadside attractions. Isn't they great fun? Look at them all coming down. <laughs> we got some good speed. And here we go. We just literally drove under this. There's the goats. And they're not just on the bridge, they're actually on the roof just over there too. Go and see some lovely goats, shall we, Charlotte? Aww. Here they are, just up here. Hey. Loads of goats. Hello. Oh, this is great. Hello. Lovely goats. Hello. Goat Park Worldwide. Oh, so lovely. <laughs> oh, this is nice. It's got the gift shop just here. Oh, Look at this big goat just here. Big billy goat. You can get goat feed as well by the looks of it just over there. Look at this gift shop, this looks really quirky. Now, this is perfect for Charlotte here. I like my goats too to be honest. Oh, How nice is this? Yeah, now we're down here in Tennessee, you can really feel the humidity. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, in the Alpine Coast, so what a unique theme. And yeah, I see they've got the little walkway and that leads up there onto the bridge that crosses over. Oh, I'm tripping up. <laughs> All the excitement. Yeah, there's actually goats up on the top there too. On the roof. <laughs> Look at all this down here. This is cool. Really quirky. Hello. Nice goats. Yeah, let me show. Oh, no, he's gone. Denied. Denied. What about this one just here? He's coming in. They're coming up. They're not interested unless you got food. I'm here to ride a coaster. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So many goats. They've got loads of space though, because yeah, they can literally walk up up to the top. It's very cool down here. Look at all these items that you can get. Get yourself a nice rug. There's some like bar stores just down here. This is why I love the US. Just like random kind of roadside attractions and things like this. Hey! That's cool. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Take that home for the theme park museum. <laughs> Yeah, this walkway is great. Oh, and yeah, they've actually got an area over on that side too, which is brilliant. Yeah, the actual Alpine coaster comes back over the road down there. This is really quirky. What's this do here, Charlotte? Interesting. There you go, give it a little little it pedal. That's it. Yeah, yeah, it, it pedals the chain or something. Oh, it takes food up to them. Oh, I see. So you jump on that, and yeah, it takes food up to the top. Very busy around here. Oh, there we go. There's a goat at the top of this one. There he is. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so you paddle this and then the food goes up to them. <laughs> He's waiting for it just there. This is really cool around here. Hey, there he is. Waiting for the food delivery. And there they are. I like how they're just on the top lot. Like, as people are driving in just off the road. You just see them up there. Oh, that's really cool, that is. Yeah, the exit to the attraction is on the other side. Oh, there we go. More coming over the top. This is literally perfect for Charlotte. 
And yeah, this is very unique actually for an Alpine coated design. Yeah, because obviously you offload there and it brings the empty trains over to the loading area on this side. Yeah, they've got a, a big gift shop as well just over there. And ticket sales just over here for the Vegan Alpine Coaster. Not all of them are built by Vegan, but a lot of them are. And here's a look. Let's have a look at some prices and we'll be able to take you on. And there we go, we just purchased our tickets for the Goat Coaster. Honestly, it's perfect, this is brilliant. And uh, yeah, it was $12 per person to ride on this. And yeah, it's pretty busy. I'm just hoping they can leave a bit of a gap for us. But we'll find out. Yeah, chest mounted GoPros are permitted. Bit of a queue line down here. I've just noticed this sign up here as well, saying that they do the Haunted Coaster every Friday and Saturday in October. So yeah, Halloween version. Down here at Goats on the Roof. Looking forward to it, Charlotte? Hey, the theme is just perfect for you though, isn't it? Oh yeah, definitely, and show you what that's like. Yeah, there's so much around here, there really is. Like I say, did a couple of Alpine coasters last time. They were great fun, and uh, yeah, didn't get around to see it all. So I thought, yeah, let's have the afternoon here and, and do some other bits. Been waiting about five minutes so far, and yeah, probably about another five to go. So yeah, manufactured by Vegan. This opened here in 2015. And yeah, here's a look. At that lift hill that takes you up into the mountain, into the forest just up there. Yeah, Alpine coasts are also great fun at night. However, you don't really see as much, especially on GoPro footage. Yeah, the better the filming in the daytime, it can be great fun at night. I tell you what, I hope there's nobody going that slow in front of me down there. I'm gonna make sure I ask him for a good gap. And here we go then, time for the goat coaster. Yeah, ask for a bit of space and that's what I've got. So let's just hope the few people in front go quite fast on these there's a big uh, dinosaur off to the right looks like they're building a mini golf course down there actually all the rock work i can smell all the goats as well coming up here but yeah it seems like there is a pretty decent gap but like i say it all depends on who's in front luckily there's no kids for like three or four cars in front so hopefully she'll get some good speed coming down here yeah they're doing quite a lot of construction as you can see there's the big helix i do like a good alpine coaster and yeah, you can ride with two of you if you want to. Nice theming. <laughs> oh no, someone's come to a stop down there. Oh dear. Oh God, we've got a, a mega hole up down there at the bottom. Oh no. Let's hope that's clear by the time we get there. That's the thing, obviously you can't kind of stop yourself on the lift or anything like that. We're just gonna hope that, oh, it's a long way up. We've got to hope this is clear. Look at this. This is really, oh no. We do not want any of that. It might be worth if I get when I get into the top actually putting my brakes fully on for the first bit and just letting that clear. Yeah, because that is not ideal. If you're coming down straight into that, that just ruins the ride. I think that's the thing, they need to be spacing people out more. Yeah, these are coming round here, look. You have to slam the brakes on. I mean it has got auto braking as well. But yeah, that's the thing with these. I suppose we've got to watch out for bears around here as well, haven't we? Big bears could be around. I know there's some big bears up at Dollywood, big bear mountain. <laughs> yeah that, oh it's not looking good that at the bottom i really hope that gets cleared really what they should do is hold people at the top until that clears more down the bottom but we will see what happens looks pretty good coming down here though that's what i like to see gorgeous location and yeah it's the weather's lovely now i was absolutely throwing it down of course if you head over to the sandbrook adventures you'll be able to see our uh, kind of behind the scenes look at this trip and yeah how we've been traveling between the parks all that kind of stuff and yeah over on that channel you'll see the, the rain was really coming in hey <laughs> yeah let's just hope that it clears up a little bit i might just break for the first corner just to let it clear a bit more but i don't know if it's going to make much difference to be honest there was a pile of maybe five or six trains down there or cars whatever you like to call them I guess we'll find out. Very nice and scenic you come up here. Gradually, the higher you come up, the less you hear of the road down at the bottom. Beautiful. Yeah, you got all these lights at the side and like RGB strip lights, that sort of thing, to light up at night. And they are fantastic to ride in the dark, they really are, but you always see a bit more in the daytime with a POV. Little drop just there. Hey, but yeah, you don't need to like hold on to the handlebars or anything at this point or um, push forward or anything like that. Because obviously with these, um, you know, when we've got to the top, you want to keep um, pushing forward just like that. And obviously that's brake. But 
yeah, we'll uh, obviously don't really want to be doing any braking unless we have to. Looks like we should have a pretty good run at all this first bit though. I actually get some good little air time pops on these, which is fantastic. And here we go, right near the top. I think that was the guy in front of me. He's going down pretty fast. Now to make the decision, do we break a little bit or just go? I think we'll just go for it. Here we go. Here we go. Hey. Oh, there's some goats. <laughs> hey. And we're off. Hey. Some of these do have auto braking, but we'll see. Bye, Charlotte. I hope that's cleared at the bottom. Whoa. <laughs> oh, a bit of auto braking on this one. Yeah, some of them do, some of them don't. Hey, oh, that's all right. Oh no, yeah, you can feel it really kicking in. Oh, you really feel that auto braking on this one. Hey. Oh my God, it's like the one we got in Wales, back in the UK. Hey. You just build up the good speed and then it slows down a bit. Oh, there we go. Oh dear. <laughs> Little out time hills, S bend, hey, gorgeous views of the mountains though. Has it cleared a bit down here? I think it has. Woo! Oh, look at that view. Oh, wow. Hey! This is a helix. Oh, it's fully cleared. We're all good. That's what was great about the uh, Hasenhorn Rodel Barn in Germany. No real auto braking kicking in. Great views though. Hey, bit of helix, helix, helix. <laughs> Woo! Over the car park, there's the car. <laughs> there we go. I right, say so the auto braking kicks in. Yeah, it was good fun that was. It was not one of the best ones that I've done. But yeah, it was still good fun. I'm glad that we didn't get uh, held up. It was literally the auto braking kicking in there. It wasn't, uh, you know, anybody in front holding us up. It cleared, which is good. Feel a bit sorry for them riders in front though that got held up. Yeah, let's see Charlotte. Here we go, and here comes Charlotte. Slowly making her way in just there. <laughs> a full and ride POV there then from the Goat Coaster. What a unique theme here at Goats on the Roof in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. How was your ride? Oh, that was so much fun. I was a little bit concerned going up the lift hill because there were some people stopped, but by the time we got down there, it cleared. Oh, I didn't think it was going to clear, you know, because I was debating holding oh, no. a little bit at the top oh, just no. in case, but uh, no, it did clear up. There was about five or six cars there. I thought, oh no, it's going to ruin the ending, but luckily we're all right. Sadly, there was quite a lot of auto braking. Did you find that? Mine kept kicking and I could feel it. Yeah, it's one of them that sometimes when you get the auto braking, actually, you're best pulling on the brakes a tiny bit to stop the auto braking kicking in, if that makes it is, sense. It does push you back quite forward. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's a shame about that. It but uh, yeah, it's a good layout. It was good fun. Um, it's not the best one that I've done. It's, it's certainly not the worst. Theme. It's goat themed. We love that. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's another plus one, another ride to come and experience. And yeah, we do love the theming. And there's a massive gift shop here behind us. So we're going to have a look in here. Oh, and there he is up there on the roof. Hello. Uh, what can we send him up? There we go. Should we send him my phone up? There we go. No. <laughs> oh, I do love it down here though. Got, oh, there he is. Oh, oh I, I should get him like a hot dog or something. Send that up. You think he'd have that? <laughs> yeah, traffic lights down here. All sorts of quirky items. This is like the ideal theme though. It really is for Charlotte. Let's go and have a look inside. Roadside attractions. I love them. Get yourself a nice hat there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a goat statue. There we go. Big bear statues down here. Forty two ninety eight for the big one. He's nineteen ninety eight for the small one just there. Loads of statues in here. Lots of quirky things. Here we go, Charlotte. I'm gonna get these and start wearing them at home. These are quite good, aren't they? Massive bear feet. I was think, looking for some bears up there, actually. Oh, I was scared in case one <laughs> yeah. jumped on the track. Yeah, <laughs> yeah look at these. Yeah, they're nice. They are. There's 19, a bear there having a bath. Where about? There. He's having a bath with a glass of wine. That's there. Go <laughs> glass of wine. Oh, goats on the roof, bears in the bath, whatever next. Horses on a ladder. <laughs> Look at all these plushies, oh my god. So many on there. Oh, that's a very nice sign you got there, Charlotte. That's so cute, 16.98. Goat crossing just there. <laughs> Love it. Got all sorts in here. This is great fun. Christmas tree up there. 
I saw you could get uh, goat flavoured fudge around there as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, seawall flavoured rock we had, didn't we, earlier in the year? Yeah, that, <laughs> that wasn't very nice. That was in Scarborough, wasn't it? Yeah, and here's some of the merchandise for goats on the roof just down here in the Great Smoky Mountains. Loads of shot glasses over here too. All sorts. Papa Bear. <laughs> And here's a look at the awesome array of t-shirts they got down here. There we go, I survived the goat coaster. Loads of different ones. Goats on the roof, that's quite nice, isn't it? Just there, they got a big selection of caps as well, all sorts of signs. Yeah, loads of different ones down here, that's a nice one. The goat. goat coaster, and is that bear just behind in there as well? <laughs> oh my god, there's loads. I love goats, there you go. Literally, this place is perfect for Charlotte. Look at this multi-pack of goat t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is probably the record for a vlog with the most amount of time you said the word goat. all them goats on there. <laughs> That's so nice. And back outside then now where you got this massive statue over here too. Great photo op. Yeah, it's made out of like iron, I believe that, isn't it? Who's it supposed to be? Can't have a clue. Not too sure. <laughs> is there a goat? Oh, he's there. Oh, he's hungry. <laughs> What well, a great attraction, really pleased we came down to see. It's more about the experience. As much as the coaster itself was nothing spectacular. It's just the experience down here, the theme, which is really unique. It's been a bit different. All the goats. Goats on the roof, Alpine coaster. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye goats, see you soon. And just before we wrap up the vlog, a nice photo opportunity there, down here at Goats on the Roof. <laughs> Great impression. And one more look there up at the Alpine Coaster itself. And yeah, this is literally just the latter part of it that you can see from down here at the bottom. I do love the location of these though, how they, you know, you can just see a little bit of it down here, but there's so much more up there in the trees, which is fantastic. There we go, well worth coming down here to check it out. What a unique theme. And there we go, that brings us to the end of our vlog from down here at Goats on the Roof and the Goat Coaster. Great fun down here, really nice theme. And yeah, did you enjoy it? I absolutely loved seeing all the goats. I think I enjoyed the coaster as well. Yeah, the coaster was great fun. I think the auto braking lets it down a little bit on there. You don't get it on all Alpine coasters. In fact, there's a lot of them that don't. Um, but yeah, obviously it's there. It's just a bit of extra safety, isn't it? Um, but I think for me, you know, I do prefer it when you don't have that on there and you kind of really decide yourself how fast you want to go around the corners. Uh, you've got to think it's got the right amount of wheels on there, you know, that it's not going to come off or anything like that um but uh, yeah it was great fun ride some good views from up there especially on these two helixes at the bottom the view is quite nice looking out over the mountains yeah, it's wasn't actually it? quite tall so you just get a great view looking out yeah and that's the thing i love the location up there in the trees and like i said the great fun at night these are too of course if you haven't already make sure you check out all of our other vlogs here on theme park worldwide from our huge usa road trip and uh, yeah that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there and keep, keep on riding. riding see you in the next video